You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to an A to Z English quick chat. Jack and I are going to surprise each other with a topic for the day and just see where the conversation goes. So you can check our website for the study guide with vocabulary notes and discussion questions. There's also links to our WhatsApp, Facebook, or other social media so you can join the conversation. And Jack, what what topic? What do you want to talk about today? Today, I want to talk about superstitions. Oh, um, yeah, and I'm just wondering, Kevin, do you have any superstitions? Um, you know, not really. I've I've gotten rid of most of my superstitions, but there are some really funny things, some habits that I still do that are somewhat superstitious. I guess right things that I believe, and you know, there's a lot of small things in America, like you know, black cats are, are dangerous and things like yeah. that. Uh, most of these I don't really don't really believe in anymore. But one thing I still do is if I say something bad, I still knock on wood. Oh, yeah. Around. Okay. Right. Like and, and this is a hard one to explain. I've tried to explain it to Korean friends in the past, because like if you would say, you know, like, uh, I hope I get a good grade on my test next week right you've almost said something and you're like you're gonna kind of jinx it and make it so maybe it doesn't happen that's the superstition by saying something you believe that it won't happen or that you've made it worse out there but if you knock on wood you know like a tree or your desk or or some wood around you then you're you're taking that bad energy away from whatever you said and 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 making it okay again so I find myself doing that even without thinking. If someone says something, I just reach out and I'm just like, I just knock on wood. That's funny. I, uh, I've i got one that I have never been able to, sh- to stop doing. And, and that is um, when I'm walking on the sidewalk, I mm-hmm. don't step on a crack. So <laughs> we have an ex- we have a little, um, I don't know if you would call it an expression or a little, a, like a poem or something, but it's well, it kind of like a kid's rhyme. I know. I it's know a kid's rhyme. Say, yeah. yeah. Step on a crack and break your mother's back. That's what we say. Yep. I and remember so, that. Yeah. So don't step on a crack or yeah, you might, your, your mom might break her back. So it's uh, totally irrational. It's uh, completely silly. But I do find myself when I'm walking on a sidewalk that has a lot of cracks, I'll step on the the pieces that don't have any cracks. So I'll kind of hop from one clean piece Actually, to another and not step on the crack. Now that you mentioned that, I I do that kind of as well, actually, without mm-hmm. even thinking about it. Like, although I don't. I don't, it's not so hardcore about it. I'm, I, I will occasionally sometimes step on some cracks when possible, when easy to avoid, I will take just that little bit bigger or a little bit smaller step sure. just to avoid those cracks in between, in between blocks in the sidewalk or whatever the crack is. Yeah. It, I'm sure yeah, I do the, that too. The older I get, the probably less uh, diligent I am about following those, you know, superstitions. Right. Um, I, I never, I'll never walk under a ladder. I don't do that. Uh, okay. Um, I, one that was funny for me is superstitions. I think this is an interesting topic because every country has, has different superstitions. Yeah. And so I'm very curious what our listeners can, this will be a fun discussion in our WhatsApp yeah, group. Please later. This will be really fun. Send us WhatsApp messages about what superstitions, uh, are, are prominent in your culture, in your country. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember one in America, along with, I mean, there's so many, every country has different superstitions, but you should never open an umbrella inside. Yeah. Right. And I still remember, because in Korea, they don't really care about that. I mean, here you'll see, you know, on like on a rainy day, many people open their umbrellas to dry them out inside and they just set yes. them in the hallway just, just to dry them. And so that doesn't, that's not a superstition here. And I remember when I was new to Korea, I needed to buy an umbrella. And so I was just, you know, I went into the umbrella store or whatever store they were selling umbrellas. And I was, I was looking at one and the the saleswoman, she's like, Oh, do you want to see it? And she just opened it in the store. Yeah. And, and again, I'm not really superstitious. I don't really care, but I, I just remember being like surprised. Like you, you can't, you can't do that. 
You can't yeah. open an umbrella inside. That's bad. You luck. just cursed. You just cursed this 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 shop. You know. Yeah. Right. And so it's. I think superstitions are really funny because even even when we really know that there's no nothing behind them, the feeling that we have because you know you learn them from such a young age, like that step on mm-hmm. a crack. That's a great example. I don't even think about that one, but it's something that I learned from a very young age. You know, singing that rhyme step on a crack, you break your mother's back. I remember hearing that. So it's just automatic. I don't think about it. I just don't step on cracks. I don't open in my umbrella inside. I just automatically yep. knock on wood. Uh, what about throwing a, a hat on a bed? Do you do that one? I heard that that's uh, unlucky too. No. Don't put a no, hat on a bed. No, that one I don't know. Yeah. That's a, I, that, I, that's a new one for me. Yeah. I, I just actually heard that one rather recently. So I, maybe uh, our listeners out there can uh, explain that one to us if they've ever heard that one before. Um, we have another one in American culture or in Western culture, where if you break a mirror, that mm. is that equals seven years of bad luck, which yep. I think is just too that's too long because at it's this quite point, extreme. yeah, I've I probably in debt about 180 years of, uh, you know, bad luck right now. Because Jack, stop I, breaking mirrors. I know. Well, Why are they you breaking just, so many mirrors. You, you set it down and it falls over and it breaks mm. and then you clean it up. And now you're like, oh, man, that's another seven years of uh, bad luck. So something similar to that, actually, that I, I just thought of is, you know, if you're drinking with your friends, if you're drinking a beer with your friends in America, when you cheers and you put your glasses together, like, hey, cheers. Think mm-hmm. it's very important to make eye contact with your friend. Yeah. And in Korea, they don't do that. They you just look at the glass or or whatever. And one of my friends in university, she whenever we would be drinking a glass of wine or a beer together, uh, and if I didn't look her in the eye when we cheers, she would wait and stare at me and be like, "No, Kevin, Kevin, look me in the eye," because she believed that if you don't look someone in the eye, it's bad luck, similar to breaking a mirror. So wow. I've never heard the, that one before, but uh, uh, yeah. that's interesting. One of my friends was was quite quite big on that specific superstition. She really <laughs> believed that. So yeah, I yeah. had to look her in the eye when we were cheersing and when we and were drinking. Some of these might be regional too. I mean, you're from the Southwest. Yeah. I'm from the Midwest. And so maybe some of well, our... Well, she was from Mississippi. So even oh, a different area. That could be a Southern thing. Um, maybe. I will tell our audience members that in, uh, in Kevin's and uh, my culture the numbers 13 is very unlucky mm. and it's some some uh buildings don't even have a 13th floor so if you look at the elevator it'll go one to 12 and then it'll the next button will be 14 yep and so 10 11 12 14 15 yeah 16. right no, 10 11 no 12 14 so um that's a very the, you can tell that the the owner of that building or the person that built that building was very superstitious because they or refused in, to put a 13th floor in, in Las there. Vegas even if the owner isn't Las Vegas all hotels don't have 13 because it's considered bad luck and people don't want to gamble because gambling nobody wants to luck, stay in so the hotel nobody with the wants 13th to stay floor. on the 13th floor yeah exactly for sure that's oh. right. That's and here right. in Korea, of course, there are 13th floors, but they often don't have a fourth floor. There's no yes. number four. They will use the letter F. So you still have the fourth floor. They don't get rid of it, but mm-hmm. they just don't use the number four because in Korean culture, four is similar to the word uh, to die, basically. What what are the uh, where I'm curious what the unlucky numbers are for our listeners out there? What uh, in yeah. the countries that you live, what are some unlucky numbers? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Please share. Superstitions. This is a, a fun, really is an interesting topic because there's so many different things. That's one thing I love when I learn a new superstition here in Korea. And I always try and ask why, right? Like, I think like walking under a ladder I, that you mentioned earlier, Jack, I think that superstition, it, it's a good superstition because yeah, walking under a dangerous. ladder, it's, it's dangerous. <laughs> right. You know, you, you could get hurt. Um, and so I think a lot of superstitions come from some rational. There's exactly there's reason. some reason for yeah. it in the past, but you know it's probably some mom or some dad who their kid walked under a ladder, and instead of saying like "Don't do that, it's dangerous," because kids don't listen, mm-hmm. they say if you walk under a ladder, it's bad luck. Then the kid will be like, oh, 
and and then they listen to it. And so I think many superstitions come from those types of reasons. You know, it, it just yeah. starts off more natural and then it turns into something some some other reason after yeah and so it's very I, I always try and learn like why like okay if, if that's a superstition why? why why do you think that oh because of this this and this and then you can kind of maybe understand a little bit about where it came from i wonder if uh if the loch ness monster was uh created <laughs> to prevent people from swimming in that cold frigid water in uh in scotland right yeah. maybe that's a good example of, yeah there's there's <laughs> it's interesting to hear where these these stories yeah. come from they're they're very fascinating yeah cool all right any others that we want to add for today i think that's all i can think of offhand there's so no. many and i'd love to hear more from from our listeners so please this is a fun discussion too come come into our our whatsapp group and tell us what are a couple superstitions that that you have uh, or that people in your country often regularly believe in yeah i would love we would love to share those in the listener comments uh of a uh, of an upcoming podcast yeah. so definitely be fun to talk about yeah share please share and I, I just love learning about culture so definitely interesting yeah but nice great topic today jack thanks thanks so for everybody else thanks for listening remember join our whatsapp group to tell us what you think check out our webpage for the pdf for this lesson uh, as well as to join in our discussion on any of our social media and if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or iTunes, if you could leave a five-star review and a quick comment, that would be super helpful for other people who want to find some A to Z English. So have a great day. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>